Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today I am finally, finally, finally putting up the leftover kits and things from Maidicon that was in September in Tennessee. These kits will actually go up for sale in my Etsy shop on Saturday, November 3rd, 2018. And they were gonna, they're going to go up at two different times. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to get uh, something if they were interested in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the amount of everything that I have in half. And they're going to be released at two separate times. So, so on November 3rd, the first set of the leftover kits is going to be released at 11 a.m. That is Eastern Standard Time. So that is my time. That will be in the description box below. All of this information will be down there below. Um, and then the second set of, of all of the leftover kits that I have will be released at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I decided, I decided this was the best way to do it. That way, you know, depending on what time zone you're in or whatever, you'll be able to have an opportunity to get your hands on something. So again, 11 a.m. half of the kits will be released and then at 5 p.m. Uh, half of the kits will be released. So if I have seven of the, um, no, I don't have seven of anything. If I have six of the Misty Rose uh, class kits, then I'll put three up at 11 and three up at five. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. I will have a specific section in my shop just for these kits and I will have that linked below in the description box and all of the listings the photo will just be this this is the only thing that you'll see there won't be a photo of the actual product because that's what this video is for but it will say in the title of the product it will say um, set number one, set number two, set number three. and But after set number one, it will say DIY art journal. Uh, set number two is the Misty Rose, so on and so forth. Okay, I have a lot to go through, a lot to get to show you guys. So I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to start with my most favorite, what I'm most excited about. And that is the DIY travel art journal uh, kit. This, this class was so fun. I had a great time. I think everybody else had enjoyed their time uh, together painting. We painted these flowers. We made this book. We made this folder. Um, it's just, I just had a great time. So, this one is going to be labeled set number one. I've got my book next to me here. Set number one, DIY art journal. So again, half of these kits will be available at 11 a.m. and half of these kits will be available at 5 p.m. So let me show you what you get. Um, you'll get this tote bag. This is a 15 by 15 inch tote bag um, with my branding on the front. And it's cotton and it's natural. And then you will also get this zip pouch that also has, this is, what do I call this? This is, um, this is my merch. <laughs> I don't know how else to, to call it because I have a listing later for just merch. <laughs> um, but what you get is the zip pouch. And uh, real quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about these little zipper pouches. Um, it's just like a little plastic slider thing. So sometimes the plastic slider doesn't work properly, but if you squeeze the, the plastic slider when you're closing it, it will work every time and if it pops off it can go back on um can you see what i'm talking about there okay can you see that where i'm talking about right there this little plastic slider right there sometimes it pops off um, and if it does that it'll go back on and then just press tightly to close it like when you're sealing it up just press it tight and it will work every time so what's inside of this little this this particular one because it's a diy art journal there is um, two post-it notepads. This is my artwork. Both of these uh, have my artwork on them. This is from the first Metacon. Well, you'll get one pad from the first Metacon and one pad from the second. And it's just different uh, images. They're fun. They're they're fun for like journaling on and adding stuff to your traveler's notebooks and that kind of thing. Um, but there's all of my art images. Um, or in here. So these are from, most of these are from the Floral Whimsy one. And then this one was the first one. Um, these were taken mostly from my build embellishments and stuff. 
but anyway so there's two different sets of post-it notepads there's i think there's 25 sheets in each pad and then there is the flexible six inch ruler and it's it's uh temperature changing so it changes with the of course it's not going to do it now it's cold right now i'm trying to warm it up with my hands well anyway it does change temperature but this one's just not doing it at the moment and then there is a mechanical whoa there is a mechanical pencil that has my name on it right and this one you can get new erasers for it and you can add lead to it so it's a refillable mechanical pencil oh really this oh there i was gonna say this one doesn't have any lead in it it does um there we go so you can refill the lead it's 0 0.07 it says it on here or 0 0.7 sorry um so you get a, a pencil you get a large sharpie a regular large sharpie and then you also get a sharpie pen these are all my favorites so that's why i had them made um with my brand name on it because these are my favorites and then you also get a ranger a mini mister and a nuvo tonic nuvo what is it called aqua flow water brush there are two different sizes one's a fine and one's a medium um but it looks like that and then to fill it you just open it like this and squeeze it in there some of these uh, have like a ring um let me see if i can find one. Oh, here's one this is a this is a glitter gloss pen but some of them have that ring around it in the middle um, and some of them don't and the reason for that is when we were in tennessee um i had to i had to fill them with water so i went ahead and filled a bunch of them with water same with the mini misters some at some point these were all filled with water <laughs> i had to dump them out and dry them out and all of that but if you have the ring just pull it apart take the ring out and then put it back together no big deal okay so that's what's coming in oh and you also get um one of my business cards right whoop dee whoop dee right well but on the back side you can use that as a journaling card so i made sure to put an image on the back side of my business cards that way it's just not wasteful if you don't want to look at all of my stuff you can just flip it over and use the back side so that's what comes in this pouch here and then in the bag here is all the rest of the goodies you also get a jelly roll pen this is number 10 a white jelly roll pen and you get paper clips you get a rusted binder clip you get some crochet thread and you get a needle to um to create your little travel uh, book <laughs> your little travel art journal so you get all of that in a little pouch and then in another little package you get you get this little travel paint palette on this paint palette is daniel smith watercolors oh i should have grabbed them so you get these uh these daniel smith watercolors and it's the kind that are made with uh gemstones every color except the yellow so you get all all five of these are different ones that were made from this pack and then the yellow is i don't know, I have it in here hansa yellow light i think it says so this is printed onto uh hot press watercolor paper and i then at this bottom part here i put some medium there not medium some some like um matte medium or i'm not i don't remember what i put there I think it was matte medium i just put that down here for a mixing palette so in mine the one i've been using um, this was the first one i made originally like when i had first had the idea of doing it so that's why the colors are in a different area but this is the mixing area down here and this sucker has been used and used and used and it is holding up just fine so but anyway so this is my palette my original palette that i made many moons ago um, so you get one of those that you can put more paint on top of and then also there is a stamped um, panel 
on watercolor paper and these are the flowers that we actually painted in class so I am going to be doing and and this is what they ended up looking like so I'm going to be doing um, a whole video on how to put this folder together, how we painted these flowers, all of that jazz. Um, that's That might even be the first thing I do. I know I said I was going to do the Christmas album, but this is just like a one video type thing. So this might be the next thing that I do. So you get that in this little, in this little pouch here. And then you get, this is the printout of the folder. So this is all of my artwork. I did all of that. So this is printed onto, I had a printer um, print these out for me, and this is almost like poster board type paper. It's super, super thick, um, but it's super cool. It's really sturdy. So this is the folder that we put together, and then you also get, um, it's a, I think it's a full sheet. This is a full sheet of Canson uh, watercolor paper, 140 pound watercolor paper. So this is what we use to make our art journal and this is enough for two art journals. Um, so that's what you get for the DIY travel art journal class kit. Okay, next up is set number two, which is the Misty Rose uh, class kit. This was actually top secret number one. So this is the project that we made in class. So this is the Misty Rose. This is the paper collection, Misty Rose, a Prima Misty Rose. But before I go into what's in this kit, I, I have a handful of these. We do something called a Make It Go Round at Metacon. And this was my Make It Go Round project. And so I make one every single round. So I have a large amount of these. <laughs> um, I think I have like 15 or so of these maybe more but what i'm gonna do they're so cute i'm just gonna toss them into random packages um so if you purchase something for me you might get one of these extra uh they're they're not going to be available at all to print or anything nothing like that they were professionally printed they were printed to the edge so on and so forth so so anyway it's just this cute little mini book that i made using my artwork and stuff and it's kind of like oh well, let me grab something it's kind of like an ACT, ACT. My, I've got the ACTs on the brain. My son has, I've been taking the ACTs. <laughs> anyway, it's an ATC <laughs> book. So it's got a spot for you to put the ATC and then it's got a place for you to write whose card that is. But it also has pockets. Um, these have been in a, a squished, so they're kind of like, <laughs> But there's also pockets, so you could put more uh, cards or information or what have you. So there's some top pockets in this book. And then there's side pockets. So there's two side pockets and two top pockets. I'm almost positive there's one right there. I could be wrong. Wait a minute. Come on. There we go. Well easier said than done when there we go so there's two top pockets and two side pockets right so this is what we made for my project and so again it's a little book right and then in the back page this is my uh, ATC card this is also my artwork I just love this image oh the garbage garbage trucks coming around Sophie's Sophie heard it so this is um, my ATC and my artwork, oh, shh, 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 my artwork, and then I put a Genevieve Designs down here. What I should do is I probably should go through and sign them, so, it's, you know, just for a little something, something. But on the back is all of my business information, my business card. So, it was just a really cute, quick little project, and then it, there's a rusted little binder clip that keeps it closed. So, so anyway, so randomly, whoever purchases from me, <laughs> From this Metacon purchase, um, you might find one of these in your package. So, I just thought I'd point that out. Okay, so this is the Misty Rose class kit. It is set number two, and you get the tote bag. All of the class kits get a tote bag. Um, this one, the merchandise, the zip pouch is the same, the post-it notes, the two Sharpies, the pencil, the business card, and the ruler. This one, the rest of them just don't, don't have the uh, water brush 
or the mini mister in it. So this, all the other kits from here on out have this with them. So they all come with that and the a tote bag. And then inside here, everything comes in a, in a package. I guess I'm going to have to open it. Um, let's see. This one I had to tape. Let me cut through the tape real quick. There we go. Can you even see? Again, you guys are so far away from me. I don't know how that keeps happening. <laughs> how my camera keeps getting so far away. Okay. So everything has been printed out for you. Everything is in this kit. Well, I say that, but it's very possible that it might be missing um, a thing or two. It might have be missing a paper clip or or what have you. It just it just depends. You know, we packed a ton of these kits, so. You know, these kits are kind of as is, so if you're missing a paper clip, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> um, but we use almost everything in the kit as well. So there's the book, right? So let's see. I had everything professionally printed. And this is from the Wanderlust. The templates are the Wanderlust, so there's some large and some of the medium in here, I'm pretty sure. So they're separated even with paper clips. So the paper clips even need to be kept because we're gonna use those when we sew our inserts, okay? So I provided you with everything you need, honestly, everything. So, oh, I also wanted to mention too, and this is kind of, um, this is kind of annoying actually. I had all of these professionally printed because there was a ton of them, I mean a ton of them, and there was a ton of printing to be done. So there was a ton of kits and then a ton of printing because there's a lot of pages. So almost everything is printed out for you already if it needs to be printed. So I cut things down, I printed things out um, onto the patterned paper or if it's a traceable template, it's on white cardstock or if it's supposed to be on white, it's on white. So everything is already printed out for you. So this is just, I think, the stuff that we used on the cover, right? So this first paper clip is the cover stuff and then the second paper clip is all of the inside stuff. Anyway, so I have these professionally printed and the only reason this is uh, kind of needs to be pointed out is because it was printed onto patterned paper as well. So this was professionally printed onto this patterned paper. The printer and I had, had lengthy discussions about how I wanted this printed. We, I had test prints done, all of that jazz. And everything was perfect, everything was fine. But then something happened when they printed the, um, the mass amounts of things that I needed printed out. Somehow they ended up printing ever so slightly smaller than the actual template. So what stinks about that is, for example, the envelope um, might be a tiny bit smaller than if you purchase the Wanderlust. Um, and when you print that envelope out, you might notice it's a little bit larger. So if you, for example, let's say you mess that envelope up. Well, these actually, that doesn't really matter. Let's use an example that matters. Like if you, mess this page up, right? And you are like, oh shoot, um, I didn't mean to do that or I cut the wrong thing or I ripped it or I tore it or I glued it the wrong way or whatever. When you go to print yourself out another one, it's gonna be slightly larger than the from, from what you have in this kit. So you'll just have to make that slight little bit of adjustment. It's just like, it's not even an eighth of an inch. It's just, it's almost an eighth of an inch. It's just a teeny weensy little bit of um, smallness. But what stinks about it is they couldn't even reprint it for me because it was printed onto the pattern paper. So it kind of, you know, it was kind of like, well, we just got to go with the flow. We just got to go with it. So, so if you were in my class or you purchased one of those kits, just remember that it's a slightly smaller than if you were to print it off at home. Um, I just, so I just need to point that out. And um, the printer was just beside himself, um, with the mistake, but then there was just really nothing that could be done about it. Does that make sense? So I'm pretty sure all of the kits were done that way, except for the flirty flur one. I think the flirty flur one was printed. I think we caught it before he printed those, um, but I'll have to check. All right, so let's get on with it. So you get all of this stuff, all of the pages again, printed out for you. 
um, and we will be doing these videos or this uh, album soon and then I gave you the pages that don't need to be printed on and then these are all of the inside stuff so here's the inside pages and then there are some bits of ephemera that are printed so this is printed on a super nice heavyweight cardstock it's very nice feeling that was important too it kind of laughed at me because i was like oh it needs to feel you know a certain way <laughs> but it's important how paper feels i don't like it when it's super drying to your hands and it just doesn't feel nice to touch um so anyway, so this is uh, printed on to like 32 pound, like I print my stuff at home. Um, he found the equivalent uh, in his shop. So this is a really nice paper. And then there's some acetate and some plain, you know, cream copy paper. Here is, this is coffee dyed paper that my son and husband did for me. So we use some of that um, in this project. Here's some of that Rodea, Rodea, however you say it, dot grid, my favorite um, dot grid paper. There's a stack of that. There is some vellum. We use vellum in this. There are uh, old book pages, or there's a old book page. I think we only use one um, in this. And then there's the pages that we're going to need for um, the insides right so we got all of those and then there's a glassine sheet we're going to be using that right so all of that stuff but none of those needed to be printed on because we're going to be using a traceable template and then I gave you the piece this is one piece so you get one of each sheet not of each sheet but one of each pattern in this kit even if we didn't use it you got it and then some of you got the back side of the pad and some of you will be getting like the front side of the paper collection that looks like this right so that's what that one looks like so even if you don't get a kit you don't have a kit or you don't get one of these kits you will be able to follow along and make this uh with us when i do the videos because i pointed this out a long time ago this was the paper collection um, I was going to be using so a lot of you did purchase it already so there's just a few little things you're going to have to add like if you want them like the coffee dyed paper and that kind of stuff so that's all the paper and then you also get all of these other things so here's one of the flowers that you'll be getting and then here is a ephemera pack that's got die cuts and um, stickers and here's another one of the ephemera packs, right? Same thing, die cuts, stickers. Here's another one of the flower packs. And another one of the flower packs. And then inside this bag is all kinds of goodies. So there's a bag of metal embellishments. There's butterflies, book corners, binder clips, paper clips, um, beads there's another little little trinket there it says made with love i think it says made with love all of this stuff was rusted um i've got a video on how i did that and then there's like a token there's all kinds of goodies uh, metal goodies separated in, in a bag a tag with the seam binding and this is heavy cording this is um it's kind of like baker's Tron, but it's just natural so this is all bound or wound onto um a shipping tag and then you get the needle and thread to make your um, inserts. I mean, see, I, I got you everything. I got you, I got you everything. And almost everything is used in this journal. Even this glassine envelope is going to be used in the journal. But inside there is a piece of thick acetate. I made an acetate tag type thing. And these are the different washies. So you get that. And then you also get... These are inked uh, hole reinforcements that we will be using. You get a sheet of each color of that. So that's inside this. But again, don't throw away um, your things like your glassine envelope. Don't throw that stuff away. You also get the small cut off pieces from when I cut the paper down. Then you get another glassine bag. And this one has the cording 
for the uh, Traveler's Notebook style um, binding to hold the insert. So the cording comes in this bag. Again, don't throw this glassing bag away. And then you get the covers are already pre-cut, the covers in the spine, and then the Tyvek is also pre-cut for you. My husband did all of these for us. Um, all of these things are pre-cut. And this is like a lightweight chipboard. It's almost like a cereal box chipboard. So you get that um, all ready to go. And then here's another piece of acetate that we actually are going to be using on the cover there. Can you see it? So you get that. You get all the large cutoff pieces. And that's it. Well, that's a lot. So you get everything you need to make this album and then some. So. So that is the Misty Rose. That is set number two. Um, again, half will be put up for sale at 11, and then the other half will go up for sale at five. I um, also wanted to say really quickly before we move on to the next kit is that um, I will be working, when I make the video for this exact album, I will be working with the exact same kit um, that I'm showing you here and that we did at class, but that does not mean that if you don't have a kit that you can't work along with this. But I just want you to know that I will be working with the exact same kit that you guys see here when we do these videos, okay? Okay, so the next one, this is going to be set number three, and this is the Chevy Christmas um, from using the Santa Baby paper collection from Prima. So this is set number three. Oh, no, set number three, okay? So half will go up at 11 and half will go up at five. And then this is the new template that I'm working on. This is not out yet, um, but this will be the first full album that we do next. So I'm thinking we'll do the art journal first because it's only a video, and then we'll be doing this one next, but I'm still working on these templates. Okay, so once again, you get the tote bag. Um, you also get the zip pouch full of all of the goodies. And then this is the kit. So let me open this up. Again, this was professionally printed. Um, oops, this one has two bags. I had to, some of them have two bags because the bag ripped or something. <laughs> one of the sets of bags that I had purchased, these uh, polyurethane bags were really flimsy, so they didn't last very well. Okay, so let's start with the flowers this time. So we get two packs of flowers for this one. Such a pretty, I'm not even sure this collection is available anymore, you guys. I do have later on, I do have extra stuff that I'm going to be putting up in my Etsy shop as well. You'll see. Um, but anyway, so there's two packs of flowers. There is a Say It in Crystals. There is a pack of the ephemera, so there's the acetate pieces and then the die cut, laser cut die cut pieces. And then there is a pack of these snowflake stickers. Super cute. I like the translucent ones and the pink ones the best. So that's all from the collection. And then you'll also get, this is the corrugated cardboard cover so this is already cut out for you already scored so it's ready to go my husband did this for us too um just made it it made it go faster in the class because we didn't we were very limited on time but i'll tell you what i had a blast with this one this was great i mean all of the classes were so much fun um this one we've got we got to get messy with gesso and stuff so well i mean you can see it here you know, we did, we, we just sewed the corrugated cardboard. Super fun. Anyway, so you already get your corrugated cardboard cut out for you, but this, this will be a template. So no worries. If you didn't get a kit or you don't get this kit or you wasn't in my class or whatever, um, this is going to be a, a printable template. So when we are making this album, that template will be out. So your covers are cut for you. Um, and then this is the glassine bag um, that's going to be in the printable template. Isn't that cool? So there is eight of these. There's eight glassine bags in this mini album. They're already printed out for you there. 
Okay, so then you also get, these are the mats for the covers. These are insert uh, traceable templates. There is a, oops, upside down. I bet they're all gonna be upside down if I do that. There is a sheet of ephemera. These are different little bits. Uh, these are from the mini envelopes um, and tags. I'll try to link everything below if you're interested um, in checking these things out, but I made these special sheets just for the Made Conscious for the albums. But these are actually from the mini envelopes and tags, and this is from the Wanderlust template. And then here's another sheet of ephemera. These are both from my build embellishments, and then this is from the Wanderlust, or these three are from my build embellishments. And these are from the Wanderlust. And then um, these are actually some of the envelope inserts that go inside the glassine bag, already printed onto the pretty paper for you. Um, and the printer was like, um, I don't know, because look at that. I mean, that's the back side. He was printing on the back, right? He was like, I don't know. I'm like, it'll work. I promise it works at my house, you know. So anyway, so I had them professionally printed. And then you got all of the large cutoff pieces from those. And I think that might be the only thing printed out. The rest of this is full sheets from the paper collection. So whatever I didn't print on or cut down, um, is in here. You got one sheet of everything, um, and then you either got the back of the paper pad or the front of the paper pad. So there's that. And then in your little bag of goodies here, you get you get a foam brush for your gesso. Uh, you get a little bag of metal goodies. There's um. There's a jingle bell and a binder clip. All of this rusted again. There's keys, all of this, everything you need metal wise to do this mini album, this exact thing. Again, on the shipping tag, we put some, whoa, something here. Hang on, I got a string. I got a straggler. We put some pink and white Baker's twine and then some seam binding on there. And then here is the, um, this is the, what am I trying to say? This is the binding for the uh, album. Um, okay, so then you get uh, all of these shipping tags. These are inserts that we use in the album. And then you get one of each one of the journaling cards. These are used throughout the album. You get two sheets of whole reinforcements that we inked. I think, I'm not sure, did I ink? I think my son might have inked all of them for me. And then you also get the heavy acetate tag that has the uh, seam binding, that has the corresponding washi tape wrapped around it. I didn't want to wrap this one around because it's kind of on its own little backing and I didn't want to like ruin it by wrapping it around um, here. So I just stuck it in the bag. Okay, so that is the Santa Baby. This is set number three. So half will be up at 11, and then the other half will be up at five. Okay, so before we talk about the next kit, this the next kit would be set number four, um, the Flirty Flirt. But I did want to mention something else. <laughs> I get asked all the time about um, why don't I offer these kinds of kits every time I do a new album? And there are several reasons. One, there was a extremely large amount of prep work and a large amount of people that helped me with this prep work. Um, and it took a long time to put these kits together. Um, there's one reason. And the other reason is I have no access to getting... Um, the paper collections and all of that jazz at um, a wholesale price. I cannot purchase that that kind of thing. Um, I'm not. My business isn't set up that way. So I had to get help with that as well. Otherwise, I would not be able to even do these classes. So I had to get help um, from May May to do that. So it's not something I can do on a regular basis. I know it kind of stinks because it is super awesome to have like a pre-made kit. Like my mom, for example, I had bought her the whole, all, every one of the collections and I gave them all to her. And then I was like, well, mom, would you rather just have a kit? Cause she's probably just going to make, um, what we make, you know, what album we make. And so she was like, yeah, I would just rather have a kit. So then she gave me all the collections back and I gave her one of the, each of the kits because it is, it does make it super, super nice. 
but it's just not something I can do um, on a regular basis. Uh, it's just just not feasible. It's just it's just not feasible. <laughs> but I did want to point that out because I get asked that all the time, especially when I'm doing these videos, when I'm working on these albums and things. Um, in the next cupping, uh, couple, cup, in the next couple of months, I will be asked probably a hundred times uh, about providing a kit before a project. I just can't do it. Um, but I did, I did tell you guys way in advance which collections I was going to be using. So if you wanted, if you thought you liked that collection, you may want to get your hands. I even told you exactly what I was going to be using in there. So I try to give you as much heads up as I possibly can. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you guys understand that I can't do these types of kits um, on the regular. So the next kit is set number four, and this was top secret number two. Is what this was and this is the flirty fleur this is the small wanderlust again I'll put as much of this information down in the description box as I can for you guys uh, so once again you get the bag you get the zippy pouch full of all of the merchandise the pencil and the sharpies and the post-it notes ruler all that you get all of that and then let's see what we get in here So this is the Prima Flirty Fleur, and of course I had to add <laughs> my purple from my Shades of Color. Um, that's a digital, so that, that's easily accessible. So here's what we get. Again, I had this professionally printed. Okay, so again, you get a couple packs of flowers. There's one. There's one. These are cool. I mean, I've just got to say, look, we put it on the cover. Um, actually, both of the Top Secret 1 and 2, we use those, what are they called? I think they're, I think they're like a chipboard. They're not wood. I thought maybe they were like a wood embellishment, but I think they're more like a chipboard, laser, laser cut chipboard or something. Um, but they're so cool. So we use that on the cover. I just love it. Anyway, so there's those two packs. Of flowers and then there's this set of ephemera a bunch of pieces in there and this pack of or set of stickers there's four sheets of stickers in here and then here's a little baggie of the metal embellishments there's tokens and paper clips and um, binder clips hinge clips whatever you want to call it um, little charm and let's go through this little baggie real quick So you get the glassine bag and you get, you don't get full sheets of each one of these because it's a smaller album, but again, inked hoe reinforcements. And you get a super thick acetate tag with the seam binding wrapped around it. This also had like a silver, but again, it had that paper backing and I don't think I included it at all. Um, but anyway, and then there's another shipping tag with that thick baker's twine, natural baker's twine type uh, twine there and then some purple seam binding and then you get some shipping tags for inserts i even gave you like the leftover pieces of um things that were cut down for you guys and you'll see what i'm talking about so this is one of the purple this is printed on two cardstock so this is my shades of color purple and then you get little bits like there's these are for like uh inserts and these are for like um the traveler's notebook inserts that we're going to make so these are like tag inserts and for the for the notebook so guest checks and index cards and then these cute cute little um glassine envelopes they're um kind of fold down like this so cute they're so tiny you get several of those you get several of the other sized glassine envelopes the larger ones and then these are again leftover pieces because we already pre-cut some things down for you guys and then here is the small cutoff pieces from things that had to be printed on so that the, so you can see there there's only three things that were actually printed onto uh onto the pattern paper you also get the needle and thread to make your inserts and then Move this stuff out of the way so I won't get it confused. And then again, things are paper clipped together. So this is the covers, and then these are all the inserts. So you need to like 
keep those paper clips because we use those to make those inserts. So in this little glassine bag, there is the cording for doing the traveler's notebook, the cover, and for the um, closure. And then there's actual a template to poke your hose. Um, it's a little hard to see. And then this is the spine. So you see how it wraps around here? So this is already pre-cut down for you. But in the video, I will, when, I, when I'm making this, I will tell you what you need to cut it down to. So if you don't have a kit, you, you know, no worries. Um, okay, so then here is the, what are these? Oh, this is the template for the cover. Okay, so this, this is for the cover. So there's a traceable template for the cover. There's a full sheet of Tyvek for the cover. Then this was printed, this is a piece of the pattern paper and I printed my purple onto the back. So this is the inside of the cover and then this is the outside of the cover. So you see, you can see there. So these are all for the cover. And then these are all for the inserts. So even these insert covers, they have been cut down for you and they have been scored. You might not be able to see that. Oh yes you can. So I have already scored them and they've been cut down to size. And then you also get a traceable template um, to make more. And then there is, let's see, what is that? Oh, I printed my vintage background onto the pattern paper and look how cool that turned out. So that, that I liked that one quite a bit. And then here is a sheet of different inserts and tags and things. This is just a combination of things that are in the Wanderlust, but they're in like a, um, I had to make a special sheet just for the class. And then there is another page printed on. This one is the um, dashboard top loading insert page. I think that's the, I don't know if I made a special page for that or not. I can't remember. No, because there's, the, there's a bow and everything. So there are all the insert covers. And then inside here, which this is a sheet protector, and we use this as well. All of the goodies that are in here. So keep your sheet protector. And um, we're going to be using that inside of the album. So there's some doilies. There's several here, but they're kind of stuck together. This is like a vintage old, you know, you know, <laughs> Uno scorecard that I found a pack of them somewhere along the line. Just some different little types of paper. There are some book pages in here. And then some coffee dyed paper that my husband and son did for me. So this is like copy paper and then this is like um, loose leaf paper, school paper. And then there's some graph paper and some ledger paper. And then there's that Rodia uh, dot grid paper that I love so much. There's a piece of vellum. So all of these are for the inserts. All of these bits are for the inserts uh, that go inside. And then like here's all the leftover pieces. So if I cut it down or if we just use, you know, just the straight up, this is the shades of color. Everything that I didn't use um, or print on or cut down for you, um, all the scraps are in here. So there's the leftover piece from the purple from the spine. And then here's all the leftover pieces from cutting down the Traveler's Notebook covers. And then the large cutoff pieces, the ones that we had to print on. And then again, another piece, uh, this is 12 by 12 glassine paper. So we're gonna be using that. And then all of this, is the rest of the paper collection that we did not use or we we're tracing on to. Okay, so I gave you one of everything regardless of it, if it's used or not. But this one is really cool because it's a soft cover. Um, I'm, so the, let's see, after we do the shabby Christmas one, we are going to be doing this one next. So this one, I think you guys are really going to get a kick out of this one. This one's a lot of fun. The class was a lot of fun too. So People were really surprised at how soft it actually feels. I mean, it's just paper, you know, but it just feels so soft. But anyways, so that is set number four, and that is the Flirty Fleur. This was um, the Top Secret number two class. Okay, next up is set number five. So these are the merchandise kits. So there's two merchandise kits, and this is merchandise kit number one, or merch set number one. Um, but this will say set number five, merch one, if that makes sense. Again, I will have all this in the description box below. Um, and what you get is you get that zip top pouch 
uh, right, you know, what size is this? This zip top pouch is almost 10 inches by 5 inches. So you get uh, both Sharpies and the pencil. And then you also get, this is the envelope. This is a document sized envelope, which means you could fold up your paper and it fits in here um, nicely. Um, I didn't have that. This is what I gave everybody. Well, I was supposed to give to everybody, but I didn't take enough. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, but in here was the uh, Traveler's Notebook that I made, and I did a freebie on that. So I will link that below as well, or the video. or Yeah, I'll link the video below so that you can see what I'm talking about. But inside was the uh, post-it note, a business card, and a handmade Traveler's Notebook. So everybody got that in their swag bag that they got when they came to Maidacon. Well, not everybody, because again, I said, like I said, I didn't make enough. Whoops. So, but in this kit, in this merch kit, you get the set of pencils. You get one of the old posty notes and one of the new posty notes, a business card, and a ruler, and the plastic um, document envelope. Okay. There's only a few of these. There's not that many of these. You guys are going to have to let me know if there's anything you want me to, like, have, keep in stock. Maybe um, anything that you would like to see. I mean, I wouldn't have it in stock, like, on a daily basis, but maybe I could do it once every other month or something where I could put this kind of stuff up for sale. But you'll have to let me know what you like, what you would like to see, because, like I said, I don't, these are very limited. Again, half of these kits will go up at 11 a.m., and half of these kits will go up at 5. So you get both of these. And then you also get the tote bag, okay? So this is a merch set number one. So it'll be listed as set number five, merch one, okay? And then the second set is a little bit smaller than that. And the reason for that is I ran out of bags. So the tote bags, I ran out of the tote bags and I ran out of the zip pouches and the envelopes. <laughs> so... This is set, merch set number six, or this is, sorry. So this is set number six, merch two, okay? So it is basically a glassing bag that has my business card, two post-it notes. I even put a little, a little sticker there. Isn't that cute? Um, a little wax, faux wax uh, sticker <laughs> um, in a glassing bag. And then you also get one of each of the Sharpies, the pencil, and the ruler. So again, this is set number six, merch two. So this is a little bit smaller. Um, and before you ask, um, I won't sell just a pencil or a Sharpie. Um, the shipping on it would be stupid. It'd just be ridiculous. So um, that's why I'm trying to do like sets of this type of thing so you could get this whole set um, instead of just getting a pencil or a Sharpie. Um, but you guys let me know what you'd like to see because I would be willing to maybe um, every other month have some merch available for you guys. I just don't want to have to ship things out every day because I'm, I, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> so, so anyway, so there's merch uh, number two. So it's set six. So the next three things are um, the extras. So I have extra there was kits that were missing some things or i didn't have enough of something or or whatever what have you whatever happened <laughs> so i don't need all of these extra things so there's one for the santa baby there's one for the misty rose and there's one for the flirty fleur so not only is there things that we used in the class and the kit but there's also all the extra stuff that i purchased for that collection. Does that make sense? All of that is in here. So before we get into that, you do get a tote bag. This is, this is, um, this is set number seven. This is the extra Santa baby. Okay. There's only one. So this one will be listed at 11 AM. So you get a tote bag and then you also get a pouch with the post-it notes and the sharpies pencil the ruler and the business card so you get that you don't get this box this is not included <laughs> the box is not included but all of the stuff in this box look at it. it's a pretty thick so this is it's got a kit in it. it i think it might even have more than one kit in it 
and it's got all the extra things. It's got, I'll just, let's just go through. These are not both full. I think this one might be full. A full washi tape, and then this was all the leftovers from when I did the acetate tags. So I'm just, I'm gonna try to go really fast because this could take forever. Um, and here is, these are all the flowers that we did not use in class. So it's one of those, one of those, one of those. These are puffy stickers. Um, this is when I was planning the album, like when I was planning what we would use. So everything's still, some of it's open and whatnot. Like these were just too big for me. I don't know. Um, those and those. And then those, and then the chipboard pieces. Um, it's got a front and a back, um, but that hasn't even been opened. We did not use those. So those are all the things that were not used in the class. Well, except for the washi. We did use a bit of washi. Um, but you get both of these. And then, let's see, this is uh, not a complete kit. It doesn't have extra stuff in it. And then these, I think, were a lot of the extras that I took for the class. So you can see, obviously, that the papers and stuff are not in here. But everything else looks like it's in here. So there's um, the flowers. There's, oh, I'll, just, I'll just open it so you guys can see. Last time I did this, I called it a hodgepodge of things. So... And here we've got the flowers that we did use in the kit. Um, we've got the little package with the journaling cards and stuff. I don't, I don't know if I should open all this. And the inserts and things. Um, we've got a cover. We've got the little package with all of the metal pieces and the... Um, yeah, see these are extra. That's what these were. So you're getting a set of this except minus a few things. So these are extra. And then there's a couple extra packs of stickers. And then there's some um, the uh, embellishment pack, ephemera pack, and then they say it in crystals, uh, cut off pieces. Let's see, what else? The bag is a ripping. Okay, and then this, this is, let me move this box out of the way. It says it's not a kit, but it looks like a kit, but I don't think it is. So inside here, we have things that were in the kit, but it's not a full kit, if that makes sense. Okay. So we have that pack again with the brush and all of that jazz. The cards. Oh, this one does have most of the goodies in it. Um, and then we have the extra journaling cards that I used when I was making my prototype. And then flowers left over from when I was making my prototype. That's what this is. This is everything left over from my prototype. Um, yeah, the, another set of ephemera and stickers. Uh, these were used. And then, what do we got here? We've got leftovers. Oh, lots of leftovers. Oh, you got leftover the paper. Again, this is probably what I was. This was this is what I was using when I was making my prototype. Yeah. So there's a ton of extras in here. So there's probably enough to make two of the same album. And then the extra paper. And then this was even more extra paper that I had. So this is just a hodgepodge. It's more than just one kit. It's a lot. It's a lot of extra stuff. So um, it will actually probably be priced a little higher than the actual kits because of all of the extra things you're getting. But it's pretty cool. So it's probably going to be missing a thing or two here or there. But either way, I still think you can make the album. And it sounds, it looks to me like possibly a friend could make the album too, right along with you, with this, with this amount of extra product that I have. So this is extra set uh, seven, the extra Santa baby. So set seven, Santa baby. Okay, next up, this is set number eight. And this is the extra Misty Rose. So this was top secret number one. 
So this is all of the extra Misty Rose. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, and I'll, I'll show you again, just like I did with the Santa Baby. But again, you get the tote bag and the pouch, uh, the zip top pouch with all the goodies in it. Um, that'll be the same uh, for the next one as well. You do not get the box, just so you know. Okay, so let's let's start going through here. So you get the leftover washi. I thought there might have been another one. I don't guess there was. Um, which isn't much. There's two in there. Leftover washies. And then... Oh, goodness, you guys. There's a ton in here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let me move the box. Okay, so... The, this was a kit. They're both kits. Or, no, this was a kit, but it was missing some things. And then this is... Um, all of the stuff I had ordered when I was planning the Misty Rose and when I was making the prototype, all of that's in here. There's even things that I've already printed out, cut out, all that junk. Anyway, let's go through it. Let's start with the kit. So, it looks like you get a bunch of extra seam binding, which is cool. There's a whole bunch of pre-cut covers, Tyvek, um, acetate, uh, spines and covers both there's a bunch of extra of those I just don't see a, a need to have all of this extra stuff so that's why I decided to include it in here um, and you get the um, the washi and the whole reinforcements and the string and, and more seam binding so again I still believe you can make the album with this um, I don't know exactly what's missing um, it says it's missing something, but then it, this is my husband's handwriting, used for extra. <laughs> so, we're just, I'm just going through it now with you guys. So there are the ephemera packs, and the flowers are all in here, which is good. And then, just like with the kits, oh, I had to put another bag. That one was falling apart. Whoop. Just like with the kits, um, all of that stuff is in here. Yeah, I'm thinking that it must have been missing something, and then we took it to Maticom with us and pulled out of it if we needed something extra. But for the most part, I bet it's mostly in here. Um, yep, yeah, I mean, all the different little, there was probably extra, there, there's extra book pages, there's extra glassine paper, extra vellum, that kind of stuff. There's a bunch of that copy paper. Um, yeah, so there's just extra, a bunch of extra stuff. All the cutoff pieces. What's this here? What is that? That might, I think that might have been a boo-boo piece, but I went ahead and left it in here. Um, yeah. So there's just a bunch of extra stuff in here, and you know, it's an actual kit, but it's just missing a few things, but then it has a bunch of extra things. Does that make sense? I know I'm making sense. So there's that. At least I hope I am. Put all these back over there. So that was the kit. And then this is when I was making the prototype that you guys have seen. Holy smokes. Oh, this one's a two-bagger, too. Good and nice. All right, we've got some whole reinforcements on top there. Oh yes, yeah, so these are flowers and things that I did not use. I purchased them and I was trying to figure out what I was going to use, but um, these are what I did not use in the album, but there's some really cool ones. Oh, you know what? I did keep a pack. I'll show you here in just a minute. There's those, where's more flowers? So many flowers. There's those. And then uh, the pack of journaling cards. We didn't use these in the class. There's a pack of um, smaller journaling cards. So this four by six, three by four. And then here's all the things we did use in class. So those are open because this is, we didn't use these in class. But this is what I used when I made my prototype. So I'm gonna carefully set those so I don't have the packaging or it's not, I think it's actually supposed to go with these stickers and they're not stuck down there. But let me show you the pack that I kept because I did uh, quickly go through this yesterday. I kept these little pack of butterflies. 
I just couldn't give them up. I was like, oh, they're so pretty. I'm gonna use those. <laughs> um, I did find some pre-cut journaling or uh, traveler's notebook covers in here. I already uh, cut them and inked, or not inked them, but I cut them and scored them. So there's a couple of those. Bunch of leftover cut off pieces. Um, there's the large cut off pieces. And then more cut off pieces. Um, what else is in here? Uh, there's a piece of vellum. And then what's this? There's two paper clips on here. Oh, these are just two more, two or three sheets uh, from the paper collection. And then there's more. There's another sheet. So you don't get the full paper collection, but you sure do get a lot to work with. So you get kind of like a kit, mostly a kit. It's probably just missing a few things. And then you, I think it might be missing. Do we see any metal pieces in here? I think that might be what it's missing. I'm not sure. But then you get all of these flowers. So this one is set number eight, the extra misty rose. Okay, last but not least, this is set number nine, and this is the extra flirty fleur stuff. So of course you get the bag, you get the tote bag, and you get the pouch with the post-it notes, the two Sharpies, the pencil, the ruler, and the business card. And then all of this. So once again, this is kits that don't, are missing pieces, or it's the kit that I, or the, the collection as a whole that I used when I was designing what we were gonna make um, during class, and then any extras. The box does not come with, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this out. Move the box. Okay, let's see. What is this? This just rolled out. Um, it looks like, no, this one is open, it looks like. So this is the washi tape. Got a thing of washi tape. Um, and let's start with, this says it's metal pieces missing. So this is the one of the kits that was incomplete, but then it has a whole bunch of extra stuff that I took just in case something was missing. So look, there's extra doilies. There's a whole stack of them. Um, then there is the flowers and the ephemera and the sticker pack. Again, you can make this album, you know, this little mini album with what's in here. You just might have to supplement just a little bit. Um, and then um, it comes with the washi tape, acetate tag, the whole reinforcements, the shipping tags, the glassine, um, little mini glassine envelopes, all of the different little, the glassine, the bigger glassine envelopes, the uh, the string and the needle to sew your inserts. It comes with the glassine bag that has the cording for the traveler's notebook and the piece for the covers. It has the cover template. Um, what else? What else? What else? Why is this funny? There's uh, the Tyvek for the cover. And then, yep, see it's got most of these pieces, it's just missing the metal bits, it looks like. Oh, this one, there's another reason. This one got cut weird, and I don't even know what happened there. I don't know how that happened. That is a very strange. I think I'm sure I probably did it. <laughs> uh, but again, so there's that, but let's see yeah so there's the pieces for the covers there's all the goodies for the inserts uh, that looks like it's full and then all the leftover pieces the glassine all right leftover pages from the collection and then a bunch of extras whoa there's a whole bunch of extras look at all that so there's a whole lot of stuff there's a bunch of Tyvek uh, there's the vellum, Rodia paper, there is, there's not any uh, extra coffee dyed paper, doesn't look like. Um, and then there's extra things that were printed extra, you know what I mean, like there's that traveler's notebook cover. Oh, there's another one of those sheets. So even though, even though that one is 
tore up. There's an extra one. So there. Fix that problem. <laughs> Didn't even know I was going to fix it, but I did. Um, but anyway, so there's just extra stuff that were printed out. And then extra paper. All the cutoff pieces. All of that. So this is the kit with a whole bunch of extras in it. And it's missing the metal pieces. Um, which there really wasn't that many metal pieces in this kit. So... You could totally make this album with this kit. I'm going to go ahead and put these back together. Oh, wait. This goes in there. So, whoever buys this, it's going to be a little bit sloppy put back together. <laughs> I'm trying, but it's uh, quite a process when we put these kits together. And it always amazes us when something comes up one short or we're missing one of this or one of that because. It really is a very meticulous process, so it's always amazing when we're missing something. Um, but anyway, we're real nice and neat about it when we're making these kits, but ooh, getting all these put back together after showing you guys bit by bit, it's a little harder. All right, so there's the kit with some of the missing pieces, and then you get all of this. So again, this is what I used when I made the prototype. So I had ordered everything, it looks like. Or just about everything from the collection. So here's some flowers there. Those flowers. Those flowers. Those flowers. Those. And those. <laughs> and those. And those. And those. Yeah, see this is one of the ones I used because I used that on the cover. Let's see, so how many packs of flowers is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine packs of flowers in this. And then there was, what, two or three in the kit? I think there was two in the kit. There was that one and that one that were in the kit. So there's 11 packs of flowers all together in this listing. So this is set number nine, Extra Flirty Flirt. So there's all those flowers. There's about $50 worth of flowers just in this kit alone. Um, there is a Say It in Crystals. There's just a random doily. <laughs> um, there is a sticker sheet. Is this got four? Yeah, this has got four. She's, we did not, did we use this in the kit? Yeah, we did. We have that in the kit, don't we? Anyway, uh, there's a pack of ephemera. And then here is the chipboard stickers. Uh, these were not used in the kit. And then here's a pack of journaling cards. Again, these were not used in the kit. Um, what do we got here? Oh, this is a bunch of extra little bits. Um, just extra stuff. Just guest checks and stuff like that. Uh, glycine envelope. What is this? I, I don't know. You know how I can't throw away my dot grid paper? There's some more of it. Okay. <laughs> I just can't throw it away. Um, extra book page. Oh, there's, um, there's some coffee dyed paper right there. Those are all extra, extra sheets of plastic. So this was from where I made the prototype. All the extra paper, uh, bits that are cut off. There's the extra glycine. Let me scoop this aside. And then, okay, so here's all the extra paper that I didn't use in my prototype. And then also, even more. So there is uh, another printed off piece of the pattern paper. Um, extra cut off bits. And then extra uh, papers. Let's see. Yeah, quite a few extra papers. So yeah, you could probably make two or three or four or five of, of this uh, actual album that we're going to make with this collection. You could probably make a bunch of them with all of these extra papers. So okay, so again, this is set number nine, Extra a Flirty Fleur Collection. Okay, you guys, I know this video has been super, super, super long. I just had a ton of stuff I needed to show you. I have a ton of listings. Um, it's, it's just going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's what it's going to be. <laughs> 
Okay, so remember that I will have everything linked down in the description box below. So I will have it linked, or I'll have it listed down below that the Misty Rose is set number two. Does that make sense? So that if you want to write this down, you want to get yourself prepared, <laughs> um, it'll all be down in the description box below exactly what each one will be listed as. So again, all of these made con leftover kits and the merchandise that I have left over will go up in my Etsy shop tomorrow, November 3rd, 2018 at 11 a.m. Um, I'm sorry, not all of them. Half of them will go up at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the other half of them will go up at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, all of that information will be down below. I am super excited for you guys to get your hands on these. I'm excited for the ones that really want one um, that couldn't come to the class. I'm excited for them, for the possibility of them getting their hands on them. So you guys let me know what you think. I know it was a long video. I appreciate you sticking around and I will see you guys later. Bye.